Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have learned how to uh, use the configuration objects for this pre-render thing. Now let's try to see, I will try to show you another concept also. For example, let's say that there are also build options I have shown you for the pre-render thing. So the concept what I have told you, the pre-render option that is nothing but it will take a configuration object. When it is an object, each option can be individually configured. So that means discover roots. True means whether the builder should process the angular routing configuration to find all and parameterize up routes and pre-render them. Default value is true, but you can mention it as a false. Routes file. So this is one of the important thing which we need to understand very clearly. So I already shown you that the path to a file that contains a list of all routes to be pre-rendered separated by a new lines. This option is useful if you want to pre-render routes with parameterized URL. So if you want to pre-render routes with parameterized URLs means then this option we can use it. So now here what is this parameterized rules? For example, let's say that here we are having a product slash id. For example, let's say that we are having product slash id. This is a parameterized routes or commonly we can say it as a dynamic routes. So this type of routes, for example, id is dynamically provided. To specify these routes, they should be listed in a text file with each route in a separate line. So now here, so if you want to route a particular URL means product slash one, product slash triple five. So like this, you can uh, pre-render them. So that means you need to provide the route file here. So now here the product slash one and also product slash triple five will be pre-rendered at the time of build time. Let's try to see this one uh, practically so that you can able to understand about this build time pre-rendering concept. So now here we can also say this pre-rendering concept as a static site generation static site generation represents the method by which pages are rendered to static HTML files during the build process. So here let's try to understand it very carefully. So here what I would be trying to do it is so let's go to here. So routes.txt file here we are having. So now what I want to do so in the routes.txt file. So I want to do something like product slash one. Oh, where it is going? Yeah, here products slash one. Why it is going somewhere? Why it is moving like this? Some problem has occurred. One second, wait. Fine. Now here I want to provide it as a slash products. Sorry, slash products. Spelling mistake. Products slash one. And I also I want to do product slash three. That's it. So now here what they have told in our thing slash product slash one slash product slash right. So like this is in the same way I am providing it. So it should be separated by a new line. So that means enter you need to press new line for every road we need to provide. So now we are trying to pre-render this one. So here we will try to run npm run build. Okay. So we are running the npm run build so that we will try to see. So here we are having a discover roads. So you can keep it as a true. So not a problem. I will rerun re rerun it again. So let's try to run it. So now what it will try to do, it will try to uh, pre-render all the static routes and also the routes that are present in this one. So here, these are all dynamic you are, dynamic routes. So only the product slash one and product slash three only it will be pre-rendered. If you try to see here in our code in this gist folder, you will be able to observe clearly. So try to observe in this uh, server explorer in the gist folder here, maybe the here the icons and all those things that text content maybe it's looking a little bit uh, small so but try to understand here so when this build is completed so you'll be able to observe it very clearly so here you'll be able to see that has been pre-rendered four static routes so fine let's try to see here http cache has been route and your home page has been route apart from this one products in this products you'll be able to see one and three folder in this one it's nothing but product slash one and also the product slash three so three also has been uh, pre-rendered. Now if you try to observe carefully, let's go into our code and here in our local host, we are not able to see this entire code, right? So let's go into this one. So let's run the co uh, server code. So here server build, if you try to run it means, so this is the uh, URL which you need to run it. Okay. Let's go into here and I will be pressing like this and here I will use npm run and this is the command I will try to run it. And for this one, we also have an another uh, node.js server, right? So for this one, I will run node node hyphen main dot js file. That's it. So this is our js file. Now API is also running and our uh, uh, static file generation file is also running. And this is for building. Now let's go here. 
and here now this time we need to do instead of 4200 we need to do the 4000 so now it will come from the dish folder so now here let's go to in this one okay and now here if you try to see when i click on this product slash 3 see here we are able to see a get request has been called and if i try to click on the product one and again a get request has been called so that means it is not pre-rendered why because so when i am trying to access the product slash 3 automatically the api call it is making and it is able to get the data so that means the dynamic data is getting what there is no pre-render option so here if you try to observe carefully so now what i will try to do it is here in our app dot sorry node hyphen main so node hyphen main dot js file here we are able to see product title request dot params dot id we are sending it so that means when you try to observe here product slash one so the product space title space one here we are able to observe that the product spelling is mistake spelling is mistake so what i will try to do here so let's go to the home page uh, and here in our code i will try to rectify this one and i will run again the node node server i am not using the node mon and all those things why because just it's a simple uh, demo purpose only so that is the reason i am not running it now here this is running okay i will try to refresh this page okay and here if i try to run the product one okay you will be able to see so still it is getting the updated details only so when i am trying to access this one still i am able to get the updated details only but the concept is so when you are in the home page that means the completely javascript files and all those things are loaded as i already told you in our previous video when you are learning about the caching of the get api request so when i try to click on another url automatically the, the http things and all those things are not cached and it will try to get it from the server itself but when this uh, pre-rendering happens when the user directly goes to the product slash one and if i try to so here the product title is correct right but if I try to press enter here in this one, now here we are able to see the product title one, this one, right? And here let's try to refresh it again. Okay, so let's try to uh, refresh it again. Okay, so here uh, we are already it has been came. So let's try to see it once again. So why it is showing this product title three and all those things. Let's try to go here and let's run this one open live server. Let's try to see this pre-rendered, what it has been pre-rendered okay product title that is so let's try to change the node main to product title and here i will try to change it modified okay i will give the modified thing and here i will rerun this one again okay so fine let's go into here and what i will try to do here so if you try to see the pre-rendered code so it is like this only and here i will try to access the product slash 3 so right now it needs to get it from the server right if you try to refresh this page still we are able to get the product title 3 only but if i try to go to the product slash 1 directly i am pressing it enter here still we are able to now we are able to get this one as product modified title if i try to click on this one now we are able to get the product modified uh, title like this now if i refresh this page see but first we are able to get only the product title 3 but when we go to here and if i come here now we are able to see the product mod mod modified title if i refresh this page here so we are able to see the product title one now if i try to here also refresh this one it is coming from the pre-rendered concept so that means whenever the user lands directly into this page means then we it is trying to get the page from this page so this is the page which is trying to get it rendered here so this one is product slash 3 right so here you will be able to see the product title slash 3 so this one is modified but if i refresh this page you will be able to see it like this now if i want if you want to show if you want to see the clearly means let's try to modify this one product slash title 3 only right this one not this one so product slash title 3 yeah here this is the file and here in this one uh, let's try to check it product title 3 so this is the save data is saving and here i will try to do um, local i will use the local now if i save this one okay i have saved this one let's keep it like that only and uh, here if you try if you if i try to refresh this page so maybe it should be able to get it maybe it is caching i think mm, i will try to run it again it is trying to get it okay cannot read native element okay it has been modified everything i think so we should not do it like that so but i am trying to tell you uh, the concept that 
so it is trying to get it from the oh let's try to open this in here and i will do it like this only okay so here let's try to close it and if i refresh this page maybe maybe uh, okay so this one is gone for corrupted so here if i try to press control one means so here you'll be able to see the product title one and if i go here and if i try to go here then you'll be able to see it is getting from the server so the whole overall thing what i am trying to tell you is when you when the user directly lands on that particular page means the pre-rendered url pre-rendered page will be rendered but if you go normally from one page to another page through the navigation means then you will be able to get the updated request. So this is all about the pre-render concept in the uh, in the Angular 19 SSR. So you need to understand very clearly. So this is a game changer actually. So when you are having a application something like that it should be pre-rendered very quickly means. So then you can use this pre-render concept for this one. So you should be very careful that you need to understand that the data should not be modified too often. That is the main thing. So why we need, why we need to use this pre-render then? So benefits of the pre-render you need to understand. So pre offers several benefits like better SEO since search engines can easily crawl the static HTML, faster initial load times for the users and also lower the server load since static files are served directly. So that is one thing. So it lowers the server also. And also we need to, that, and that is how you pre-render pages in Angular 19 using standalone components, whether you are improving SEO or optimizing the load times, pre-rendering is a really, it's a game changer. So that's it guys about this one. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up or a like and subscribe for more Angular tips and also for more Angular concepts. So let me know in the comments. If you would like me to cover more some more advanced topics like this. See you in the next time. Thank you. Bye.